I was horrible. Barely made the A team in ninth grade. Couldn't catch a football to save my life. But ninth grade season, January 2002, I was sitting in my room and I had this vision. That vision was to become a Division I college football player. I had never raced before anything. Didn't come from a racing family. I was 27 years old, uh, 22 years older than most people who started racing. They all started when they were five years old. But January 2014, I wrote on my whiteboard, become a professional race car driver. My vision with Bo Journeys is what laid the foundation. It started the train of thought on why I can and not why I can't. It made me believe I've already achieved it. I already got there. The last step was just actually to do it now in real life. I had to insanely believe in my vision. I had to clearly see myself playing on national TV for college football, walking out, you know, during driver intros, racing on TV with the pros. Like a little kid, I saw my vision every single day, every meal, every workout, every night, every shower, every day. And as far-fetched as it might have seemed, I just kept making myself see it. These were two crucial points in my life, and they were the beginning of this journey, the first step, and without it, you will not get to the finish. The first step is that vision. What this vision does is it tells your mind, yes, I can. Yes, it's possible. Yes, I can live my dream. It can't be something that's generated by yourself, you know, that you just told yourself, like, just to imagine it. It has to be something that just naturally occurred in your mind, something that's just showing you your goal in your head. It's beyond you, it's beyond this world. The most painful part of having this vision is that some of the closest people in your life, they're not gonna believe in you. It's, it's because they can't see it. They weren't given your vision. And because of that, they can't see it. Only you were given this opportunity to see something that not many others could see for yourself. Only you. I wasn't even supposed to be here but my vision kept me going. My thought became my vision, which became my reason. On my darkest days when nothing really seemed to work, when I just kept on failing over and over, when I kept on missing my mark, kept on getting hurt, kept on making mistakes on the track, I just had to think about the vision. Every great invention, every successful product, every service, every career all started as an idea. In the early 1900s, no one had planes, no one had ever flown, but the Wright brothers had an idea and they had a vision to achieve something that at that time was believed to be impossible. Think about it. How do you put a machine in the air and make it fly in that time period? No one could do it, but they had the vision. They didn't let anybody stop them. They grinded until it was a reality. Your mind is just a powerful thing. Your vision is not just an idea in your mind. It begins opening your eyes to see doors towards your goal that you haven't ever seen before. These doors have always been there, but you were blind because you didn't have that vision and now you do. You have to execute action. Start walking to every single door. Knock and it shall be open. That effort, that talent, talent will open these doors. Effort and character is what's gonna keep you in that room. Sometimes they're gonna close. Some of these doors are gonna be pitfalls. I worked out hard. I used to do 100 push-ups every single night. I used to send out football tapes to tons of colleges, sometimes receive zero replies. I used to email hundreds and hundreds of companies for sponsorships and partnerships. Few replied, none said yes. I used to set up meetings, no one showed up. I have had to look at my vision again and again and again, even in my darkest days when I had no more options. I had more money, I had no more nothing. My bank was empty. I had no more funds to race. My credit card was run up. I ran out of Division I schools to contact for scholarships. I'm going into my senior year of high school football with nothing, not knowing where I was gonna go. And when everyone at that point would have quit, I looked back at my vision one more time. And then that door opened up and said, you've had enough. It's time to live your dream.